What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we're back with another ranking style video, and it is in celebration of WrestleMania night number two. Night number one was yesterday, and I have no idea how it went. I, I'm planning this video for the future, so hopefully I'm having a good time out in Los Angeles and meeting you all and doing all the different things. But today, man, we are currently ranking Roman Reigns. We're ranking the Tribal Chief today in celebration of his matchup with Cody Rhodes tonight. Should be a fun, hell of a matchup. I'm very much looking forward to it. And it should be fun. So uh, right now I'm in my home, ready to rank these figures. We're going to dive into it right now. And if you guys would like to vote on these future ranking videos, you become a patron member. Huge shout out to our patrons over there, man. Thank you for all the unbelievable support on the videos. If you guys would like to vote on these videos in the future, become a patron. Nobody voted for this one specifically, but our last Kane ranking video, they did vote for that. So we're going to, I usually put up like four options and then they end up voting on it. And whichever one is the winner is the video that I make for the channel. So if you guys are interested in that, check it out but with that being said man let's dive into our ranking video for today we got to get into the tiers we always break down the tiers because you may be new here you may be new here you may have never seen this before but at the top you have go buy it section so obviously it's in descending order or or from worst to best or best to worst whatever the heck you want to say here so starting out at the top you do have the go buy it section go buy it if i put a figure and go buy it it means you need it in your collection it means you should use your actual money that you earned at your job apply it to it put it out there and buy the figure that's what that means go buy it at the top need to need to have it in your collection under that you have good figure it means that it's a good figure it's not necessarily must have it's a figure that uh if you had it in your collection i would understand that's kind of what this that's what this tier kind of means to me it's you know what it's solid enough to put it in your collection i would understand if you had it over there next up we have meh if i put a figure in meh it just means it's mid it's very meh it's like eh kind of lukewarm. It's like, it's not good, but it's not bad. And it's like middle of the road. You know, it's basically mid. That tier might as well say mid, but I'm more of a meh guy. Everybody likes to be, oh, it's mid. I'm more of a meh guy. I've always been just, eh, meh. Next up is barely acceptable. And if you're in barely acceptable, if your figure goes there, basically means you have one thing keeping you out of the garbage, which could be an accessory, a head sculpt, something like that. You know what I mean? So if, if you're in barely acceptable, it means you are literally just one thing keeping you out of the bottom tier, which is the garbage which means you are trash, son. You're trash. You're Garbo. You're trash. Get out. So, so with those things being said, man, let's dive into ranking every WWE Elite and Ultimate. There's one Ultimate. We always include the Ultimates here in the rankings. This is ranking every WWE Elite and Ultimate Roman Reigns action figure from Mattel in the history of the company. Here we go. Starting up first, we have the three-pack, the Amazon-exclusive three-pack Roman. This is Go Buy It. And you want to know why it's Go Buy It? Because it's a three-pack, and I love this pack. I actually have it. I don't know if you guys can see it right there. Yeah, right there. I have it mint on card, and I have two loose copies. So that just tells you, great Paul Heyman, great Brock Lesnar. And I know we're talking about the Roman Reigns figure, but it's a new head sculpt. Not my favorite Roman head sculpt, but it's got a white bloodline shirt, and it's an excellent representation of Roman Reigns, double jointed arms. Fantastic pack, looks beautiful, mint on card, looks beautiful, loose. It's go buy it. It's not even a thing. Next up is Elite 26 Roman Reigns. The first ever Elite Roman Reigns. This one's going in meh. Not my favorite figure. I thought the head sculpt was... I mean, to be, you gotta look at things in context. It's an old figure. It was the first Roman Reigns, but I, I despise the shoulder gap tattoo. And honestly, if you have this figure, if you took this figure, torso cracked it, put a modern shoulder in there, and then had his full tattoo going down. So looking at it from a historical context, like looking at it from way back then, like I understand the shoulder gap but I don't know, man. That really bothers me. It's kind of a deal breaker on the figure, but I put it in meh. You know, I'd say barely acceptable, but I think it's pretty meh. You know, you could, it's not a horrific figure by any stretch, but it's not like my favorite and it's not that good to be honest, but it's not horrific. So I think it's a good meh tier here. Next up is Elite 33 Roman Reigns. Another meh, but it is bigger and better than his first go around. I like the figure. It's solid. I hated the penny belts. You know, it's that shield era. It's okay. It's got the nice gauntlets on it, but I, I, I just, don't need it. You know what I mean? I just don't want it. It's just meh for me. Next up is Elite 38 Roman Reigns. <sighs> I don't know, man. I don't know how this one, like, I honestly want to put this in barely acceptable, but at the same time, oh my god, I just, I'm gonna put this one here. 
I'm putting it in meh as well. I think it's better than the last two iterations. Like, they're getting better, but they're still not, like, great. I just hated the head sculpt on this. It's still got the gap. It's got gauntlets. It's got his singles Roman Reigns vest, and it actually came with a shield vest and a Roman Reigns vest, but for me personally, I just feel like, I don't, I don't know, man. I just don't like the head sculpt whatsoever. It really put me off, and I don't know what I want to do here. I kind of want to move Elite 26 down here, but they're all just middle-of-the-road Romans, you know what I mean? It's just, they're just meh. They're like, yeah, they're okay. They're not horrible. They're not great. They're just, they're there. You know, they exist. Next up is Elite 45 Roman Reigns. This is a good figure. I like this figure a lot. It was kind of like that modern Roman at the time. It's got the, I'm pretty sure it still deals with the shoulder gap. Like, they didn't fix the shoulder gap forever, man. And it used to make me want to vomit. It looks so bad, but... This is a good figure. I like the silver vest. It's got a good head sculpt on there. WWE Championship. Very fun. And it's kind of wild because this molded WWE Championship that you're seeing here, that uh, uh, Elite 45, Elite 46, that was like a new thing. And I remember everybody being like, damn, this is the best. And now we're just now recently, like 55 series or like, you know, 60 series almost in the future. And we finally have an updated version of the WWE Championship and it looks even better. So it's just crazy the kind of leaps that Mattel makes on a consistent basis. Elite 51 Roman Reigns. I like this figure and I like it better than the Elite. Elite 45. This one had like a variant. Like this one had the Elite 45 head sculpt and then they they came up with a new head sculpt that was really refreshing. It came with the US Championship. It has the baby blue Roman logo or like a grayish blue. I like it a lot. Still dealing with the shoulder gap. It painted gauntlets. So I mean there's mixed bag here but I like the figure. I do think it's good. It's solid. It's all those things. This is one of my favorite Romans ever. Elite 56 Roman Reigns is go buy it. And I like the Elite 56 Roman Reigns more than the three pack Roman Reigns. I, I, in this matchup, it's from his match with Braun Strowman. You guys know that white's my favorite color, so when Roman Reigns came out with the Nike boots, I'm also like a sneakerhead. I love shoes and like attires and aesthetic stuff like that. This gear was so sick. It had the Nike boots. So he wore Nike shoes with this gear and it was just so fresh that I made a custom of it and then they made it in figure form. The head sculpt was good. It came with a table and a chair. It was just a great... I love that Roman Reigns. Like in a moment in time, that Roman Reigns right there is one of my favorites ever. It's so good. Elite... Is this six? 62 Roman Reigns. I think this is Elite 62 Roman Reigns. And this is a good figure. I think it's better than the Elite 51. I don't think, like, what's cool is, like, Elite 51 Roman comes with a U.S. Championship. Elite 45 comes with a WWE Championship. Elite 62 comes with an Intercontinental Championship. And you're going to see that Roman comes with a lot of championships in the history of his figures. But this is actually a solid figure. I was never a fan of this head sculpt. And they kept giving it to us and giving it to us and giving it to us and giving it to us. And just, so that's a thing. But, uh, yeah, there's Roman Reigns. Next Next up, we have Elite 65 Roman Reigns, and this is Go Buy It. I love this Roman. Uh, it's it's so beautiful. The head sculpt was fantastic. Vest was great. Intercontinental Championship. I love this Roman Reigns. Like, that red graphic with the Superman punch silhouette was really cool. Like, I just love that Roman specifically. Those two, Elite 56 and Elite 65 are two of my favorite Romans ever. They're just so clean, man. They really are. I think they're chef's kiss. Really damn good. They're the best of the best for Roman Reigns action figures. Moving right along, I think this is the Elite 68 Roman Reigns. I love the vest, but I don't really care for the head sculpt. I'm going to put this one at good figure. Really solid. I think it came with an interchangeable head as well. Uh, but you guys know that Roman Reigns figures are very interesting. Like, this whole countdown is going to be ridiculous because it's basically head sculpt and vest. I think he has 22 total figures. 22 total Elites and Ultimates. And all of them are very, very similar. It's kind of wild, but... That's where I'm going to put that one. Next up is Elite 74 Roman. I was never a big fan of this vest design. I don't even like it. Like, I didn't like the dog on the middle. I like the silhouette of the Superman punch better. So I'm going to put that one there. Elite 74 Roman was still solid. It had removable gauntlets on it. You had uh, Universal Championship. It had the interchangeable ponytail head sculpt. I guess it could go above this one. I guess. It is It is better than that one. But you know what? It. Mm, I still like this vest, man. I don't know. if That one's tough right there. It could go. It could. You could coin flip that one. But these are solid. Next. Next up, we have either the Elite 84 or the Top Picks Roman Reigns, and I like this one a lot. I'm going to put this one and go buy it. Uh, I like the black and white. I just think it's so clean. Much like the Elite 56, black and white. You know, I just love that contrast. It's just beautiful. Interchangeable head sculpt. Wreck everyone in leaf shirt. Removable gauntlets. Great head sculpt. It's very good, man. I mean, I don't know what to say about it. It's so damn good. We have Elite 88 Roman Reigns. Another very good Roman Reigns. It's probably the best one. It's definitely up there. You're getting a head of the table shirt, Universal Championship, gold gauntlet, and and this figure is, should have been up here twice because I'm pretty sure we got it. Okay, it's right here. It's in the top picks wave as well. And I'm going to put this one and go buy it even though, like, they're the same thing. I guess I could just put it in good figure because it's, like, that's what's weird is because 
multiple times on this countdown, you get the figure itself in the Elite Wave, and then you get the re-release in the top picks, and it's the exact same figure, exact same accessories, and I guess I should have not even included it because they're different, but I wanted to include it because there are like 22 official releases of Roman Reigns Elites and Ultimates, but you get the point. You get what I'm saying. Next up, so like, again, I actually, let's, let's go ahead and knock it in the butt here. Here's the Elite 74 Roman Reigns re-released, or this may be the Elite 74. It's either the top picks of the Elite 74, and they go in the same category. They're both good figure. There's nothing and like, you know, I guess I could put them in barely acceptable, but that would be dumb because it's just a re-release. So I don't really, you, you get what I'm saying. You understand what I'm trying to say here, but moving on now. Oh my God, there's a, there's a freaking, there's another one. It's the, it's the, it's the, the same elite that we saw previously. Same thing. I should have done all these together, but you guys get what I'm, I'm meaning. These are like the exact same figure. I might as well put these up next to each other. So you have the official release and the top talents. You have the official release and the top talents. You have the, where's it at? This is the top talents figure of the elite right here, the original Elite, mainline Elite that's up here. God in heaven. And then I think we got another top picks Elite. We didn't get a mainline Elite of the Red Gauntlet, but that's what this is, and this is also go buy it. Actually, I'm not gonna sit there and tell you to go buy it. I mean, it's good enough to go buy it, but it's just a change in gauntlet color. So it's basically do you prefer red or gold? I prefer both, and I think they both belong in the, in the go buy it section. Next up, we have the Network Spotlight Roman Reigns for this one. I'm putting in good figure. It's better than the Elite 45. It's the, it's like a it's like a it's a repaint of the Elite 45. So it's just like a you know you put the gold over the silver and they re-released it because it's his WrestleMania 32 gear. Solid figure. Nothing to write home about though. Same head sculpt. NXT Elite. Uh, I'm gonna go meh here. It's a cool release, but it's not anything that I think anybody really you know it's it's meh. It's not a good head sculpt. It's a very moment in time figure. Obviously NXT shirt like solid figure. Just not I don't know. It's, it doesn't do anything for me. It doesn't move the needle for me that much, so I'm gonna put him in meh. We have the Shield 3-pack figure, and this one's just, you know what I'm saying? It's a figure, you know what I mean? It's, uh, it had the new arm joints, which was weird. I'm gonna put this one in meh. I don't really care that much for it, and now I just noticed that, uh, the Elite 84 is right here, and this one's in Go Buy It, so it's the same figure as the Top Picks right here, or whatever. They're, they're back and forth, right? It's Top Picks and Elite 84. Going back to the Shield 3-pack one, that one's difficult for me, man, because it's like, like, it's a really epic set, but do you need to go buy it? I mean, I don't know. Just get a custom shirt and you can make the same Roman. It had like gray and black gauntlets. Uh, I don't know about that one, but the last figure is Ultimate Edition Roman Reigns. And while I hate the torso of it, I love the yelling head sculpt. I like the Bloodline shirt. Uh, horrible looking torso and the gap. There is kind of a shoulder gap sometimes in the tattoo, but at the end of the day, do you need it? I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say good figure. Even though I love the screaming expression. Yeah, I'm putting that in good figure. I have no quarrels about it. That's our complete list right there, bro. That is every single Roman Reign. And it's kind of wild that I said go buy it on so many of these when they're very, 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 very similar. But I'm just being honest. These, if you're going to buy a Roman Reigns, this top tier is the best of the best. These right here are the, the rest of the rest. And then you have your med ones. Like, he really doesn't have a bad action figure, to be honest with you. He's got some cruddy basics, but I don't know, man. You know what? That's it. That's my Roman Reigns ranking. That's what I got right here. Anyways, man, that is going to wrap up our ranking of Roman Reigns Elites and Ultimates Actions figures from Mattel so far, man. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. Leave me your thoughts on the Roman Reigns figures down in the comment section below. Where do you stand with these? Do you agree with my ranking? Maybe you have a different feel for it. Let me know down in the comment section below. But thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts down in the comment section below on this deal here. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at my damn toys. Have a blessed one, and I'll see you next time. We'll never back.